Hello, welcome to Game Rating Review E3 Special. My name is Jean-Marc Lejean. This is where I talk about the E3 conferences and how I feel about them and uh, sneak peeks and everything that happened during them. Right now, I'm focusing on the EA conference. Well, first of all, the EA conference opened with a big red circle as to be like, eh, we're going to be a target for ridicule this E3 as we are in every E3. Then a big group of guys show up with drums start playing drums i was a little upset because usually press conference has something awful they like to draw it out and just make your pain just just feel the pain of it but it wasn't that bad they drummed they're like football's coming out <laughs> that was it they're like football let let's go um and it was called long shot uh that uh that's it. Um, I, I don't know if people play Madden for the story mode. I thought they played for, like, just because just they know how to play football and they want to challenge their friends at football. Do people play the story mode of Madden? Not anyone I know, unless they do, unless they pull, like, a Halo and they just play, like, the story mode once and then they're out playing online forever. Who knows? Um, but, uh, this is the first time I've actually ever thought about a story mode in a football game. So... I'm talking way more about this beginning part because it was not long and they just moved on. They moved on to like mention Battlefield, like Battlefield's coming y'all. And then they moved on again. I was like, this is moving in a weird pace. They talked about Battlefield uh, 1, talked about nothing but DLC, a bunch of YouTubers talking about it, which wasn't exciting. The, the guy they got to talk more in depthly about the DLC that's coming out for for Battlefield was like kind of dry and super scripted and I didn't really enjoy that at all so you know and you, all you're missing is that you're getting six new maps and it's called the call of tar the main of tars something about tars and you know um yeah it looks okay it's Battlefield I actually tried Battlefield 4 and it, it destroyed me as a human so I'll never go back but you know maybe this one's good then they moved to FIFA and probably the coolest thing I've ever seen with FIFA so they talked about esports and actually seeing people play FIFA in esports was actually kind of exciting. That was the most exciting part about FIFA to me. I don't care about FIFA. I'm American dog. I don't care about no FIFA. So cool. If you like FIFA, there you are. There's a new one coming out. <laughs> and oh, and the worst part about the FIFA part was the men in blazers came out. I don't even know who they are. They had a lot of celebrities with them, so I guess they're a big deal somewhere somehow. But the a lot of their jokes failed. One or two were good uh, from the audience reaction. I didn't think it was funny, but the audience thought it was funny. So, you know, uh, they, they tried their best and horribly failed. So you have these two awkward guys. So they weren't awkward. They're I'm sure their show's good. I'm sure they're professionals. But then they moved on to this YouTuber uh, who used to do Pray for Prank with his wife. And he was just like deer in headlights. He, like, started to, like, you know, announce it, and then he had to restart over, and then they, like, shuffled in the developer <laughs> to help him out, and it was terrible. It was like, oh, no, and this is for Need for, need for Speed, and this is not a great intro because like, I couldn't even watch. Like, for half of it, I'm just closing my eyes. My girlfriend's like, no, you got to watch. She did a weird thing, and then it was terrible, but Need for Speed looked okay. Mixing in cutscenes with, you know, live-action gameplay, I guess, is okay, and it look like you can like hit i don't know how you're hitting other cars off the road i wasn't sure if there's like a, a mechanic that does that it just seemed ambiguous like am i gonna have guns or is it like i'm bumping them is there like a like i don't know something that could oh it was weird they just see yeah, but how did you bump them off how come i'm not taking any damage what does that mean it just seems kind of strange to me why they would do that in need for speed but it looked like a fun, fast game, uh, I, I guess. My biggest favorite part of E3 happened, and it was showing the trailer for A Way Out. It was done by the developers of Tell for Two Sons, and it's a game about co-op. You play as two separate people, and you're trying to escape prison, and then the ramifications thereafter. And it, it just seemed really, really well done. The story looked interesting, and you having to do objectives together. Uh, I like that the game kind of centers around Coach couch co-op and, and bringing that back and i think that's a novel idea and i'm glad that ea uh, is attaching themselves to smaller indie developers and are doing interesting things with them then they had this cool little teaser for anthem and then they say gonna be shown on the xbox e3 press conference 
Thanks. Thanks, EA. We know there's a game coming out called Anthem and there's a wall. Moving on. NBA Live, for some reason, the only thing I I wrote down was forced clapping. <laughs> that, that's it. It looked like a solid game. Yet again, um, people were playing playing the you know story mode i i've actually been interested in playing the story mode the nba live actually or, or any of the nba games because it looks fun uh, but yeah uh yeah this is a basketball game then they move back to battlefield 2 and they show the woman who's going to be playing one of the main characters in the story mode then they showed john ba boyega who tweeted about the story mode and then showed him talking about story mode then they did a half an hour display of multiplayer so they, they build up story mode and then show multiplayer? Like, what? But I have to say, I wasn't going to sit there and watch it because I was like, I got to go film. But I actually sat through it. And if you sit through it, like, fast forward through EA, watch A Way Out or whatever. That's called, um, <laughs> yeah, watch A Way Out trailer. Then fast forward to the very end and watch the multiplayer. And it'll actually blow your mind how good it looks, how smooth it runs. But, you know, the internet... But it, it looked great. It made me want to buy the game. I'm glad I didn't buy the first one. I've heard so many negative things about it. And I'm really excited for the second one. The original Battlefield 2 was one of my favorite games of all time. So if this game can capture what Battlefield, the original Battlefield 2 did, that would be great. And that was the end of the conference. Um, overall, um, I'm probably going to score these. Ooh, there are so many things. And I was only excited about two things. So if I'm going to rate these out of 10... I'm going to give this conference, the EA conference, if I had to give it a number, mm, mm, I have to give it a four, just because, I mean, it's just under middling, you know, it's not quite a five, kind of six, I wasn't excited the whole time I was watching it, like PlayStation last year which was a 10 conference, you know, it was just like, mm, and they didn't flub up, they didn't mess up enough to where it's like a two or anything, but it's not, they, my interest wasn't high enough that it's a five, but there's two things which at least give it two points on my scale times two to four. So yeah, I'd given it a four out of 10 on this conference. Uh, I just don't care about sports and they had some awkward things happen and I feel really bad for them that they flubbed it up at an E3 conference that so many people are watching. But thank you for watching Game Rating Review. Thank you for hitting the like, subscribe button and stuff. And that would make me happy. And stay tuned for even more E3 uh, footage that I'm going to show you and commentary. <laughs>